everybody, it's Jennifer, and I have a Dollar Tree slash Five Below haul for you. We just got back from a mini vacation on Memorial Day weekend uh, to visit my mother-in-law, and also we hopped on over to visit my brother and his family. They all live about three hours south of us, um, near the St. Louis area. So, you know, what do I do when I'm on vacation? I, my husband, he goes fishing and I go shopping to Dollar Tree. And I always stop at Five Below when I visit my brother because we do not have anything, um, any Five Belows anywhere near us. So, um, let me get started. I'll start with the Dollar Tree haul. The Dollar Tree um, haul is, uh, some things were things that we forgot to bring. Uh, some things I just wanted, so picked up the Busy Baker Tangy Cheddar Squares as a snack while we were there in town. Um, my children love these better, I think almost better than they like the Cheez-Its. You know, it's a uh, quick, little, good little snack to carry around in a container while you're out uh, traveling. And the kids love these, and I'm not going to lie, I love them too. Uh, and for a dollar, it, you can't beat this, and it will last us for a while. My friend, Kathy over at No Guts, No Glory, um, gave me the hint to try some hydrocortisone cream. I have rosacea, and sometimes it gets really red, uh, itchy, um, when I have a flare-up. So she said, give this a try. So I saw some at the Dollar Tree, so didn't think it could uh, hurt anything to just give it a try. See if this works when I have a flare-up. Picked up this Daisy air freshener for my car. Um, offered to pick up one for my husband, but, you know, he turned me down. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. So I'm going to put that in my car along with the um, solar buggy bug that I got from Lena7623. So give that a shot. Also picked up... I saw this on Cha Cha Cakes uh, haul, and it's a plastic container with the chevron design on the side of it. And it's, it's fairly small. Um, they did have it in other colors, green and I think blue or purple. Purple, maybe. Um, I was kind of hoping it was a little bigger. It seemed a little bigger in her video, but um, I'll still be able to use it for something. I. I Sure, I'll put, you know, lip glosses or something in. It's cute. Uh, we didn't have any of these in our area because I've been looking for them. So, I'll find a use for it. Also picked up this book with Love and Laughter, John Ritter by Amy Yazbeck, his widow. Uh, for you youngins watching, or maybe you did see him maybe on Nick at Night. Uh, of course, he was in Three's Company and... I think is it eight simple rules for raising your daughter anyway um, I love John Ritter and when he passed away suddenly I was devastated it was like losing a big brother you know I've been watching him all my life and this book is basically about their marriage and their life together and things she learned being married to him and I, I don't do Kindle. I like a book. I like the feel of a book, the feel of the pages, turning pages. So I'm really excited. Uh, I haven't read a good book in a long time. To be honest, I don't have a lot of free time with uh, tw two toddlers running around. So this will probably be read uh, in private, covertly, in the bathroom after everybody's gone to bed. Because that's pretty much the only time I get uh, away from get a chance to for me. So, picked up two e.l.f. brushes. The e.l.f. lip defining brush. I've never used a brush to put on uh, lip gloss, lipstick before, but I'm trying all sorts of things now, so I'm excited about that. And also picked up the bronzing brush, uh, which looks similar to me to the foundation brush. As I mentioned in an earlier video, I've never used bronzer before. I just got some from Lena7623, so um, I'm excited to try that, and I love the e.l.f. brushes so far. Not that I need any more 
eye makeup, but I do love this. I have a Perfusion palette just like this that I purchased at Walgreens after Christmas on clearance, and I love it. It is so good, and I use it uh, quite a bit. This particular it color is Twinkle Twinkle. It's a five-color eyeshadow. Um, I know it's hard to see here in the light, but it is uh, purples, uh, white, uh, light, uh, like a lavender or light purple, and then it just keeps getting darker, and I think this last color is pretty much black, so. Also picked up an e.l.f. brightening eye color. I've never tried this before, so I thought I'd add it to the collection, and it is in neutral. And seeing as I usually only get about three or four hours of sleep a night, I definitely need something to brighten these eyes. Also picked up this Expert Eyeshadow from Maybelline, New York. And the color, I know it's hard to see here because basically the color is pretty much like the packaging. It's a bluish gray. It's real pretty though. So, give that a shot. <clears throat> also picked up this eye pair, uh, eyeglass repair kit. Um, my children, or, uh, well, I broke a pair of glasses in half. I have a spare pair of glasses, which my children managed to uh, rip off one of the arms to and lost it. So I'm thinking I'm going to take the arm from one, the broken pair of glasses and put it on the other pair of glasses until I can get to the eye doctor for new ones. I wish they made them in titanium steel so my kids couldn't break them, but, you know. But, uh... That'll be my little project today. Also, I've noticed, speaking of eyes, I've noticed that I'm going to be 40 this year, and I'm noticing all sorts of changes, and one of the things is my eyes. I wear glasses and have pretty much all my life because I cannot see far away. I am blind as a bat, but I've noticed that I'm starting to have to take off my glasses when I read, um, when I'm cooking, when I'm... Uh, on Facebook, YouTube. So I picked up a couple of pairs of these reading glasses because I, I, I still have trouble seeing when I take off my glasses to read, but I thought maybe just a very, and, and I tried them on and a very, I, it's just a 100, I guess. And I picked up a 125. And I'm going to try these. I love funky looking glasses. I love different glasses like that. I love these black ones. And also picked up uh, Coastal Bay Hard Candy Cinnamon Flavored. I, instead of, I, I get a real dry mouth sometimes and a little cough, and especially at night, so instead of a cough drop, because I really don't like cough drops, I will um, pop one of these in my mouth, and I go through them quite a bit, so I usually get Brock's, but since I was at the Dollar Tree, I just grabbed these in case I ran out while we were out. Forgot the boys' sunscreen when we left, so I picked up this Max Block Sunscreen SPF 30 for kids. Sunscreen lotion, water resistant, says it lasts for 80 minutes. Didn't do any swimming, but we did do, go to quite a few parks and playgrounds, so had to have that, especially for my one twin. He is so fair skinned. I mean, he's almost translucent, so had to pick that up. And also picked up I Love Owls. So I picked up two Puffy Owl sticker sets. I think these are adorable. Don't know what I'll do with them. Don't care because I just wanted them because they're darn cute. So that's it from Dollar Tree. But I did also go to Five Below. And pretty much I went nuts because I never get to go there. And they had all kinds of nail polishes and so I went hog wild and I picked up this is called Malibu it is a nail art lac lacquer oh my goodness forgive me from art club it's kind of a silver shimmery something fun to try also picked up funky fingers I've never tried this brand before I don't know if this is just a Five Below brand. Let me see if I can get this to focus. And of course, I'm blind as a bat, so uh, what is Saved by the Glitter is what this is called. 
I thought that'd be fun. Picked up another fun one. Lots of glitter. I believe this is also Funky Fingers. And it is called Confetti. That'd be fun. Picked up another glitter one. It's kind of a gold. And it's called oh, Snakes and Sparkles. Okay. Well, that's different. You can see that. And to go with that, I'll probably put that with this. I thought that was a cute color. It's by Nicole O.P. And it's called Lemon Lime Twist. Different color that I did not have. Also picked up this neon orange color. And it is called Neon Orange Crackle. Okay, there you go. By Funky Fingers. Another Funky Fingers, kind of a teal, and it's called Venora's Envy. I like that color. And this right here, it's like a real, real deep reddish brown color uh, under your spell. And it's wet and wild, mega last. I don't normally wear this color, but I wanted to give it a try. Expanding my horizons. Oh, excuse my dirty floor. Another Funky Fingers. This is like a green. And it's called Wild Child. So. Any way I can embarrass my son with my Funky Fingers uh, is always fun. So, another kind of confetti type nail polish. And it is called <laughs> Unicorn Farts. Okay. This is my favorite now. also picked up this it's called fresh paint I really like this color it's guava picked up another fresh paint and the color is lucky and I don't usually wear reds I think they make my fingers look funny but eh, give it a try and one more a glitter it's got uh, like a turquoise silver glitter I just love this one and it is called love park and these were um, they had one bin that was five for five because it was clearance and then the rest of them were three for five dollars so also picked up this really cute owl keychain give a hoot owl keychain and that was uh, two bucks and I think this was three bucks, and I picked this up to put in my purse. It's all sparkly, but it is eyeshadow and lip gloss. You know, just something to keep in my purse, you know, so I don't have to carry a big makeup bag. Spotlight by Profusion. And, you know, I love Profusion. And last but not least, I picked up, I'm just getting bling blinged here, um, Glam Casemate. And hmm, kind of blingy, as No Guts, No Glory would say. And it is for the Samsung Galaxy S3. This was $5. And they had some other ones there, but I just thought, I I'm just going to get this one. I'm going to be a good girl. So, um, And this was $5. So that is it for my mini vacation Dollar Tree 5 Below haul. Uh, sorry about my dirty floor. And yes, I am on my kitchen floor. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys like my video. Subscribe and have a great day. Bye.